Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your daily dose of dice, bell, the dopamine. It is circadian dice, and we are going to, speaking of dice, roll one off camera here. Six. It is one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to be playing as the time bender. That is how we're going to be doing things for now. Uh, we're going to take the time bender to a zone that we, uh, we need to five star. Or So, okay, we could go to the vampire nest. Let's do... Th that. So we could go to the Forgotten Island, I guess. It's a couple options. Uh, so the Time Bender has the re-rolling... Uh, what do you call it? The re-roll activation dice where you can just re-roll past them and you still get the effects. Uh, which does lend itself well to kind of like just free pot shots. And free pot shots don't do great against shields. And there is shields in both zones, though. Uh... You know, let's let's start out with the vampire nest and we'll work from there. I, I feel like Fate Crafter's Tool is a is a really, really good start for this character. Uh, we do have a white gem on our dice on our die face to begin with as well. Other than that, let's take something a little different. What is this? If you wait. If you end a turn without attacking with a die, add a charge to a random ability. Uh, the thing is, like, I probably won't use Glimpse the Future too much. I don't know. I don't know how many turns we're going to really go without attacking. So, while that is cool, I don't know if I'm going to go for it right now. If you have your maximum amount of red gems a turn, deal one piercing damage to the enemy at the center slot. We don't really need red gems. Gain a white gem if you have full health at the end of a wave. Start with Meditate. I'm not, I'm like not feeling these for this right now. So let's go with the Beggar's Rug, maybe. How about that? End of the wave, if you gain two gold if you have no gold, two gems if you have no gems, and four health if you have two or less health. Let's go for that. I don't think we've taken that one. Uh, so, we'll want to we'll wanna spend our gold when we can. Um, so, yeah, at the end of the wave. So let's do it. Let's, let's go for this. We can replace probably one of... I think we can replace one of the blues... And then I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that we might actually, in a weird way, want to replace the gold, but we can't replace the permanent gold with. I mean, but I don't know. This this is weird. This is a weird situation. What we're trying to build out here. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's bad. I I just like it's just weird. Uh, I guess I'll do this. Sure. I I don't know. I'm doing it to get the two gold. We could uh, we could finesse in a in a way where we're trying to basically uh, get this chest open. I guess. Let's just take the damage. It's just one fear. It's just one fear. It's not too big of a deal. Uh, we could glimpse the future, or we could just keep going here. Free. We got shield bash. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is... That is strange indeed. Well, we got a, we got a coin anyway. So much for the, uh, the rug there. And without uh, using our white gem, we, we were a little bit out of luck there, too. Okay, lifesteal and frenzy together is a nasty, nasty situation. We need that to go away. I can't take this and do Glimpse the Future. Or, I mean, we could, but, like, we, we need to take them out now. We do glimpse the future next turn, but it might be too late for that, really. Just because frenzy, he's gonna start to get more and more attack damage. That with life steal, we're gonna need to do three damage in one turn, and that is significantly harder than a, a lot of the other stuff right now. Thank you, thank you very much. That was really important. Open the target chest and deal three damage to each adjacent enemy. We are gonna get random gems and we do have wild 
second thought's good, but we have so many ways to use our white gems already. And we're going to get wilds, so we can do this. So I'm with it. We can do better than this. Ah. Oh. I'd like a re-roll, uh, a re-roll ye uh, yellow. I was going to say a re-roll white gem, and it's right there. It exists. Uh, but we are going to have to keep that one. I guess we didn't have to kill, but we're getting to the... We're getting to a kind of nasty point there. Um, with our fear. <laughs> I mean, it really should go on this die. running out of damage abilities though so we can't really afford to do that the only other thing we could do we could replace this or we could replace both of these which i really really don't want to do right now so i guess we're replacing this oh that feels really strange that feels really strange 50 percent chance to gain health back i could We could do that, and we could do precision training. Yeah, I don't think we've gotten a, a beggar's rug activation yet. So, uh, boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. It's only a 70% capture rate, too. Okay, well, this is good. This is good. you love to see that. Um... That might be good enough. No, it's not. Come on, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. That's that's good. We take those. Uh, weird. Just trying my hardest just to get dinky, dinky, dinky little hits in here. It worked, finally. Uh, uh, is it worth capturing? we can save our capture for the guy on the next in the next fight where he is like if you have more than five fear you do double damage with this guy or something like that I mean, it's pretty good if we precision training a trap does that work I guess I would think it would. One would one would think. I'm gonna do this and glimpse the future. Free gem. Free gem. Free gem that we can't use, I think, pretty sure. Alright, that's that that actually is uh that's pretty good. And we can even shield bash. <laughs> The for the first time, because uh, we don't have any shields on our on our dice here. Okay. Hear me out. What if we did that? Because we're, we're finding ourselves with more white gems than we know what to do with. So I, I'm kind of fine with it. This is our last turn. It's important we really uh, we really get get good here. All right, so if we precision training twice, okay, uh, if we precision training twice, then, oh boy. I don't know what, to, I should probably do it on this one. Because I kind of want to get the re-rollable sword there. Uh, I <laughs> okay. Okay, this is stupid, but look at... Hear me out. Okay, there. Well, I, I'm doing that because I'm getting rid of it. Because I wanted to get the gold there. So we got the two gold. By spending that one gold, we ended up gaining gold. I am in the market 
for a capture. Okay. 50%. Not good. 60! Let's go! Let's go! Alright. Doubles attacks on this die if your fear is above 5. It is. Okay. So, <laughs> it's... It's a little weird. I don't want to lose... Well, no, I don't want to lose fear. Not right now. It's a free attack. Okay. Well, we're not going to get the, the random gems anyways. Wait, what? Oh, it's in the middle! Why did I think that was getting gonna get doubled? What a fool. Uh, so we have Shield Bash. There's something to be said about Shield Bash, for sure. Uh, there's something to be said about making sure we remember to detonate. Boom, baby. I don't know. We, we do have Shield Bash, and it comes... Like, this base comes preloaded with the ability to Shield Bash. You know? So, like, I feel like it works. Mm. Sure. Okay. Uh, also, we should double the damage of that, too. And now that we have this guy, we should try and maybe sh we should look into getting this. This is just good enough for me. It's good enough for me. Attacks on this die of life steal. I can see. I can see this working for us. Sure. Oh, God, I want that so bad. Uh, I mean, we'll just we'll just have to, like, get lucky with Glimpse into the future, I guess, at this point. Uh, do we have Detonate? We do not have the ability to get Detonate. Freebie. God, this is weird. Bang, double. That's what I'm talking about. This is actually working super well. Um, let's go in. Let's go in. So we should be able to like, oh, oh, <laughs> okay. I don't know what I was doing there, but like it works, I guess. We could finesse and try and find what money. I don't know if I care about that. Okay. Four. It's good, but I think we can do more damage than this. You know? I think we can. Oh, well, maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. Get enough gold to buy something, nothing. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's good enough. It's good enough. We'll do that. Open up the possibility of potentially getting a detonate off. That would be really nice. Uh, white gems don't matter anymore. We're not going to get enough money to replace our empty. Just, just get the hell out of here. If I attack him, he's going to just heal it back up anyways. Um, six turns. Six turns. 
sure. I'm going for it. I know we could have saved up our wild gems, yada yada. Let's get this bad boy. Bang. Let's just go for big number. How about that? Going for the free attack, I guess. One, two, five. I mean, it's not enough. What if we got lucky? I kind of want to go for the gambit. But I'm not going to. Not gonna. There we go. Shield bash. We did it. All right. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Uh, money, I guess, is what we would be wanting. <laughs> Imagine if that was on this one. Ooh. Could charge that up to 16 damage. That'd be amazing. All right. Again. Dang. This. <laughs> what is it? The, uh, the time bender. I was going to say chronomancer. Time twister orb. That was a clean one. You have one extra reroll each turn. I love that. I'm a reroll fiend. Okay. Uh, all right. So we can go to let's. We're at 16 minutes. Let's go to the sunken ghost ship. Let's bring a reroll orb. Let's bring fate crafters tools, and let's bring something newish. Um. Or we could bring in witch's knife. How many enemies with five attack are there? Not a lot. Uh, but the chain reaction from Cursed Dice is actually really cool. For this, that, that helps. That certainly helps. Abilities having more charges helps too. But... That's not a bad idea either. Like, we, that opens up the ability of taking red spells. Let's let's take the Witch's Knife. I, I think that that's going to be good. The best case scenario is that... Um, no. That's not going to happen. Because the re-roll re activation die on our, uh, on our, is on our first die for our attack, isn't it? No, it is on our second. We just didn't get it, though. All right. Uh. <laughs> three, I mean, three rerolls. It's just fun. What can I say? We could glimpse the future, but we need to make sure we do damage. We need to make sure we kill here. All right. Uh. So it spreads to one. It doesn't spread to both, right? Unadjacent enemy. Okay. Okay. Should be good. We could precision training an attack away, I guess. I suppose, I suppose. I mean, he's already dead. I could just take one damage to try and find resources. Yeah, that works fine. Nice. That was that was really ideal, actually. Like really, really ideal. I don't know what I want a precision training, or if I want a precision precision training. 25% chance to gain one gold when an enemy is defeated or captured. We might... Nah, beans. I was hoping. Fire Breeze. Deal one damage to each enemy. Why do we have a red gem right now? And one damage to yourself. We're add a reroll activation to a non-trap die. Yes, please. Uh, that on our curse attack, curse coin die right there. I think would be the kind of like the the best case scenario for that. We have a lot of finesse if we want it. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. I'm fine with that. It does cost... It costs our... Yeah, that's right. 
I should have gone for the cursed die. I think that was actually good enough. So that doesn't spread, huh? Add a temporary fang attack to each rolled face. It disappears at the end. Okay. Last turn. It's spicy. We can glimpse the future if we need to. We don't need to. Goodbye. I was going to try and capture him, but... Yeah, we just didn't... Did not get that there. Hmm. I actually really like that, because then we can get our speed activation on there. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that, indeed. Uh, we'll be re-rolling this die a couple times. Be ending up... Uh... I need that. I need to get this. Because this is super versatile. It can be shields or it can be attacks. And then the one piercing is really nice too. Because that kills these guys in one hit. But like, I guess we replace the middle? I don't know if we do that though. Bold, but I'm doing it. Alright. Here's the damage. That is it, though, right there. That is what it's about. Oh, that's what it's about. We do need to get this cursed chest, or this chest dead. Or I would like to. Ah, he has a, he has a cursed chest, or he has a, a chest too, though. So, how do we handle that? Hopefully a reroll activated sword. No. He's dead. Nothing I can do. Didn't go how I wanted. Uh this petrify situation is spooky. It's good enough. It's good enough. I know we're, we're taking quite a bit of damage. We're going to get petrified. Oof. It's just a, it's a farm roll here. I mean, we could go for the shield so that we don't die as hard. That That is really ideal. We cleanse our petrify. That's really, that's really, really, really helpful. Okay. Okay, I see. Oh. It's hard to pass that up. It's really hard to pass. That That just solves kind of the problem, you know? Really hard to pass it up. Get out of the way. That's most important. Okay. So we have a temporary six. We can go for this if we want. Or we can uh, delete a slot and go for a double sword, which I actually really like here. This kind of ensures that this roll is this die in the middle is going to be a slapper. Hmm. We could kill. That's four damage. I think we can do better, though. I think we kind of want to go for... I don't know why I did that now, but I guess I'm fine with it. Don't, 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 don't. Do, 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 do. I don't really want to hit get hit by all of the petrify there. That will kill the chest and it will spread it. Okay, now there we go. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth keeping. So we could precision training. Oh my if we if we're feeling wild, we could precision training our melee attack away. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It might automatically activate as an attack, though. We're going to take four damage. Let's do this instead. That makes us take one. We are still going to get petrified, which is a bummer. Oh, why did that not go? What? 
blue gem. Do we have a blue gem anywhere? You know what? I, I'm going for it. Getting ourselves really close to a the next level as well. Huh. <sighs> you don't know. Don't know about that. Okay, just get all the get all the freebies out of here. Is that good enough? That might be good enough. Oh, did it get absorbed by barrier? It probably got absorbed by barrier. Shoot. Oh, no, it doesn't. It didn't. It doesn't, it didn't. I want to keep that attack. I really do. Yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Keep going. Trying to get I'm trying to get some freebies here. It's not working. We had aspect of speed, which was exciting for sure. There we go. That's more like it. We need to pop this bubble. We're going, we're going all in here. The last one is kind of like a DPS race sort of guy, isn't it? All right. Oof. So this is, or this is petrified already. We care about getting a lot more blues. No. Not really. All right. All right. We're getting as many as we can. Many of these here as we can. Let's go. Okay. That's pretty good. That is really pretty good. Uh... Should I just take the damage? He can't, he literally can't live long enough to kill me. Okay, so that one's dead. Oh, we almost had it there. But I guess the curse would probably spread, wouldn't it? Hmm. I don't know. I, I just think that there was a world where we could just get it all. 50-50! Nice! Okay. <laughs> it was a 50-50 that it was going to spread that way. So there we go. We got the double double chest there. Did we just squeak it out? We sure as heck did. Not bad. Five star. Time bender's my jam. Time bender is my jam. We got the flux dampener. For, I guess, 15 stars with the time bender? 20 stars with the time bender. Gain two health whenever you choose a score reward. Oh. Cool. Uh, start with the slow ability. Slow all enemies. They become stunned after attacking. Current wave lasts for two more turns. Uh, that seems really good for farming for score. Uh, speaking of, we're at 30 minutes. Let's take, a, let's take on an easier one. We'll go for the Forgotten Island to round things out here. I'll take the Flux Dampener. Uh, seems like it's a nice way to play like a little bit more aggro. Does it take red gems? No. Huh. I feel like this could have been good for us. On that last one. Extra reroll. We could. Let's try this out. I mean, that's too many abilities. Let's be real. That's way too many abilities. Um. Huh. Let's 
future. All right, let's just go for that. Forgotten Island, speed earn this. And by that, I mean, let's, let's, let's not speed run it. Let's just, we'll take it easy, but still. Does anybody have a really good, okay. Uh, that's a pretty good effect. Gives us a red gem too, which is kind of spicy. Gives us options for spells. I don't know. It gives us a little bit of weirdo variety in the future here. Da, 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 da. Song is a bop. See, that's the thing, though. I don't want to. I, I want him dead. I don't want to keep him around. All right. Could slow time. Current wave lasts for two more times. Let's go for it, actually. Let's see if we can stall out in a way. I don't want to capture anything right now. Just want to stall it out a little bit. Free di he oh, he <laughs> I thought I like. I thought I misclicked it off the the edge there. Alright, so we have a lot of a lot of wild choices. This is such a good die for us. Uh, and this is this is a good die too. I'm I'm really with it. Uh, we could actually combine both of these into one, basically. Chrono Punch. Stun target enemy, push into the future, or traps have an additional 20% chance to capture. And remain on die faces after catching it. I mean, sure. I would actually, I would actually really like to draw that now. I'm sticking around. I'm farming, dude. Stop it. Sure, 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 sure. Let's go for it. Let's get spicy. Come on, give me a capture. Oh my god! How many dodges? Fine. <laughs> Fine. I did that because I wanted to add a stun, and now we still have the ability to capture again. I can't believe how many times he dodged. Oh. Replace all shields with two attack symbols? I mean, we could. All right, this is um, this is a wild dice. Uh, glimpse the future might not be stupid, actually. I I would like to. I mean, if we could get a blue gem for sure out of that, that'd be really good. Ah. ah, ah. We don't get finesse until we're done with this, but I wonder if slow time keeps him here or not. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, we don't need we don't need that. Uh How many turns? 6 turns left. All right, let's God, I hate Oh, this is hurting my heart. It's that little black box of that. Oh, that hurts my heart. Oh, actually. I feel like that, that works pretty well. We get an extra stun on that one there. This is turning out to be pretty filthy. While captured, gain an attack multiplier at the end of the turn whenever an enemy dies. Maybe. I mean, I guess, like, what else am I going to do there? 
60% chance it could turn out to 80. I can't kill anyway, so let's get this. Let's turn this into a guarantee. We're gonna take. We're gonna take a, a, a much bigger smack of damage than I really would have wanted. Oh, I don't know. If we got this, I uh, like. I'd be cool with it. I'm gonna say it's good enough because we're only gonna take one damage. Is this me or does this music feel louder than the others? It feels a lot louder than the others to me. Seventy. Oh, that was not a, ch a chance to take, really, but I did it anyway. I did it anyway. Gives us three gold to work with that we'd have to spend right away. No. Uh, it's fine. I don't want to. I don't want to chance it and take five damage to the face there. That'd be a little too spooky. I hate this. But I'm investing because I want finesse. Oh boy. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. If we. Oh, I don't want to capture because then we lose our attack multiplier. But I also do want to capture because then we can get the chest killed. Curses. We'll just do that then. <laughs> this tie is stacked. It is stacked. I don't really want to capture him because I don't want to lose my guy. 80%? Okay. I mean, I kind of like have to, right? It's kind of the law. Okay, I want that out of there. Uh, man, I wish it had a reroll activation on it. Oh, got an extra die. I wouldn't mind a little bit more defensive capabilities. I see, I see, I see. If we got lucky and we got splash attack, that'd be cool. We take one, two. I know. I'm, I'm fine with taking three damage to get one more done and out of the way there. I feel like that's important for us. What's the final phase look like? Ah, yeah. Actually, the final phase is is rough. The final phase is rough. I think I would like to keep the uh, the trap for that for sure. Slow time. I mean, the, the other enemies are already slow. This is our last turn. Huh. Okay.
I actually really like this. I actually really like that. I I do not I do not really like that. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. I think these guys are already slow, is the thing. Yeah, they're all already slow. Be able to get that still. Just trying to get as much free stuff as I can. We, if we're doing that, we get we're gonna need to kill. Um, I think we can. We might be able to capture. Twenty five percent chance to gain four health whenever an enemy dies. Let's let's go. Let's let's run down the path with finesse here. Let's get all of these shields, get all the sword effects. Trying to get the attack multiplier here. It's hard to deny the value of that, though. Should grab something there. Speaking of hard to deny the value. Bo! <laughs> Bo! Bo! Dang, we're hitting really hard here. Uh, I don't need, I just don't need any of that. That's that's truly where we're at right now. I just like, could I go for that stuff? Sure. Do I care? No. Just look at that. We just got bargain. <laughs> Make everything free in the shop before you run away. Absolutely bodied. Oh my god. Today was just a lesson in destruction. That's what it was. 834. That's pretty good. Is that our highest? Nope. 859. 880. That was the yeah, that was the sunken ghost ship. I, I love the time bender. I, I think I think it might be my favorite character. I it's hard to tell. The demonologist I had so much fun with. The monk is super cool. The necromancer is wild. The barbarian is big number cool. Elementalist I actually love a lot because of the like kind of like glass cannon but in a spell focused way. Ninja with the combo. We haven't played the ninja in a while, but the combo system is super fun. Uh can lead to really, really special numbers and obviously works really, really well with going for kind of the fate crafters tool mentality, which is obviously something I love. Uh cleric is like I guess I guess is my least favorite, but I like I love Shield Bash. I love Shield Bash and the ability to take the defensive stuff into aggressive aggressive behaviors. So it's it's weird. Like I I love every character in, in like they're all super different by only changing a couple things. They play they play really differently and they nudge you into really cool directions. Uh this game is amazing. Thank you for watching. It's been Circadian Dice. Click the link at the top of the description. You can go and you can pay what you want to play the game. You can either try it for free and then pay whatever you feel like you can or whatever. Help support the development of the game. Or you can just pay right up front uh, and help support the development as if you were buying it off of like Steam or something like that. Ahead of them eventually doing a Steam release in the future. But hey, I'd get it now. Like the game is amazing already. Like seriously, I would get it now. <laughs> and then... But then also get it when it's on Steam. Because I think that you will continue to... I think you will want to continue to play the game. Uh, I love this game. I cannot stress how good it is. I cannot stress how much I've fallen in love with this. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Check out the channel for Roblox and more every single day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.